Now you can see the line coming straight ahead is the angle of the ball. I'm back on center. From here, my momentum wants to continue going towards first base. At the same time as I'm moving my feet, I'm going to be turning my thumb over to my shoulder and I want to make a transition before I get belt high. So as I'm rolling my thumb and coming up before I get belt high, the ball should be coming out of my hand and up into my power position. Both your feet are going to be in the air at the same time as we continue to move through to first base. The important thing is that we are quick and efficient with our feet. On the routine play, when I know I have plenty of time, I'm going to allow that right foot to come through a little bit more exaggerated. If my instincts tell me that I need to get rid of that ball quickly, I'm just going to click my heels. That's the terminology we use for just getting our feet up underneath us as quick as possible. I'll demonstrate both of those to you now. Driving the right foot through is right here into a power position. I gain a little bit more momentum and I can get a little bit more on my throw with not much more effort. Clicking the heels is simply replacing your feet into a power position. When my front foot hits, this ball has to be back at its highest point in the power position because I now have to make my throw. If it's not there, it's going to cause your infielders to have to take unnecessary steps as they get the ball back to make their throw. Moving on to the contact phase. The contact phase is just focusing in on alignment, getting the body parts in the right place, creating good leverage on contact. First part is A. We want to talk about A being down, B trying to get behind the ball, and then C through it. So the swing plane starts down, levels out, getting behind the ball with the front shoulder down, and then contact through. The swing plane is not just straight down or straight up. Let's utilize the lower half so that we really can whip the bat through the zone. We want to make sure that that barrel stays inside the ball as long as possible so we can square the ball up and really get the barrel behind it on contact and then through the baseball. So how do we do that? Once we start into the swing phase and start to rotate, I'm keeping my hands inside Notice the knob going straight to the ball, and now you can see that the barrel is slightly up, but staying inside. So as you can see right here, I'm working in a straight line as, as body parts work together. I'm working in a straight line to square it up. Now I'm in that good power position here. It should feel like this. When I bring my hands forward, if there's something against the barrel, I can squeeze it inside, keep tension to the ball. And when it gets passed until right before contact, I can really lock out with the front leg and spring to the baseball. Making contact, a couple things to pay attention to. As you can see, palm up, palm down. The front side is pretty much closed, staying the knee is staying inside the front foot. I have really accelerated with the back side. I have rotated to contact. We're going straight down first and then we're trying to get behind the baseball on contact. As you can see here, I worked in a straight line, but when I'm making contact, I'm behind it. Now the barrel is slightly below the hands. Good palm up, palm down. I have good posture, which is head above shoulders, shoulders above belly button. I'm nice, strong position, not reaching out after the ball, becoming weak. The back arm creates more of a power L. Good firm position so that when I make contact, the ball will really drive. A lot of hitters make the mistake of locking out the arm, and from here, they're going to roll over. I want to make sure that elbow stays behind the palm, palm up, palm down, so I really can drive through. If I get the barrel up, as you can see, it's going to roll, which creates a lot of ground balls. It's hard for the barrel of the bat to stay through contact.
The basketball tee drill is a great drill to build extension through the baseball or that right at contact, that power punch to make sure a kid or a player drives through it and not driving around. And what we've done is we've just got a, an old plunger, stuck it inside of a tee, old basketball, slightly deflated, and the drill is the same as putting a baseball in the tee. Once you make contact, what's going to happen is the barrel is going to really try to jump back on you on guys that give up on contact. And what it's going to teach your player is to drive to it and through it and fight through contact, which is going to help them put a punch, a power punch, into contact. 